In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the PhotoPlus workspace and the basic tools and techniques you'll need to get started. Let's start with the menu bar at the top of the workspace. The file menu provides a selection of file related commands. For example, you can create a new file, open an existing one, close, save, import and export, or print your project. On the edit menu, you'll find the familiar undo, cut, copy, paste, clear commands. And on the view menu, you'll find commands that let you zoom in and out and change the way your image displays in the workspace. Commands on the image menu let you adjust, flip and rotate your image and change image and canvas size. The effects menu provides access to photo fix and filter gallery and a range of other filter effects that you can apply to your photo. The Layers menu lets you manipulate and work with the active layer and if you've used the Selection tool to create a selection marquee on your image, use the Select menu to manipulate it. The Window menu lets you hide and display the various toolbars and tabs by clicking to select or clear the checkboxes. If you have multiple images open, you can use the Tile Horizontal or Tile Vertical commands to view them both in the workspace. Finally, the Help menu gives you access to the Photo Plus Help, plus online product support, tutorials, and the Serif website. You can also use this option here to check for product updates. For ease of use, the more commonly used commands are also accessible from the standard toolbar. For example, click this icon to save your file, click this one to open the print dialog. You'll also find copy and paste, undo and redo, and so on. Just hover your mouse over the icons to display the names and tooltips for these buttons. These buttons here provide quick access to the Photo Fix, Filter Gallery and Cutout Studio dialogues. And if you want to learn how to use these features, you'll find video tutorials on the Serif website. The Workspace drop-down list lets you choose from a range of toolbar and tab arrangements. I'm currently working in the default workspace arrangement, Photo Editing. You can select a different workspace preset, or you can customise the display by showing or hiding toolbars and tabs, as I showed you from the window menu. To move a tab or toolbar, just click and drag on it. To reset a tab to its original position, I just double click the dotted region on the tab label, and to reset this toolbar, I double click its header. The Tools toolbar hosts a selection of tools for cropping, creating selections, painting, repairing and restoring, creating text and so on. If you need help using these tools, look in the Photo Plus Tools section of the How To tab. You'll find a topic on each tool. When you choose a tool to work with, the Context toolbar displays controls that let you adjust various properties of the selected tool. For example, with the paintbrush selected, the toolbar provides controls for adjusting brush opacity, style, size, etc. The How To tab also provides illustrated instructions to help you accomplish common photo editing tasks, such as applying image adjustments and filters, straightening and resizing. Most of the topics provide automated assistance in the form of these Do This For Me links. All you need to do is click on the text, and Photo Plus automatically completes the step for you. and you can click the Show Me How text if you need more detailed instructions. At the bottom of the workspace, the Documents tab displays all the photos you currently have open in Photo Plus, so it's easy to quickly switch between them. At the right of the workspace, we have the Studio tabs. The tabs you can see here are those that are set in the default photo editing workspace, so if you've chosen a different workspace preset, you may see different tabs displayed. Of particular note are the Layers and Adjustments tabs. Let's take a look at these first. The Adjustments tab lists a range of common adjustments, which you can apply to an image with a single click. A selection of presets are available from the drop-down menus provided for each adjustment. To apply a preset adjustment, just click it. You can adjust the displayed settings further if you need to. When you apply an adjustment, PhotoPlus adds a new adjustment layer to the Layers tab. 
and a layer mask. That's this white rectangle here. See the Using Layer Masks video tutorial for details on working with layer masks. Let's add a curves adjustment to this image now. The Layers tab displays all of the layers included in your project. You can see that this project is comprised of the background layer containing my original photo and the adjustment layers that I just added from the Adjustments tab. I can temporarily hide a layer by clicking its eye icon. If you want to learn more about working with layers in PhotoPlus, see the Using Layers video tutorial. I won't go into too much detail on the other Studio tabs displayed here. You can find more information in the PhotoPlus Help, but I will just touch on the Colour tab. PhotoPlus allows you to work with two colours, a foreground colour and a background colour, and these are visible as two swatches on the colour tab. When you paint with one of the brush or line tools or add text, you apply the foreground colour. When you cut, delete or erase an area on the background layer, the currently set background colour is exposed. So if I select this area here and delete it, you can see the background colour underneath. To set the foreground colour, left click on the colour spectrum and to set the background colour, right click. You can also use the colour picker to select a colour from your image. Again, left click to set the foreground and right click to set the background. When you finish working with your image, you'll want to save it. You can save your image back to its original format, in this example a JPEG file. However, if you've added project information such as layers and layer masks, when you click Save, you'll be prompted to save your project as a Photo Plus SPP file, allowing you to reopen the project later and edit it. If you want to print your image, click the Print button to open the Print Studio dialog. You can choose to print a single image or multiple images in a print layout or a contact sheet. A range of templates are provided. Simply drag your photos into place, set any other options you require. You'll find details on these in the Photo Plus Help. When you're happy with your layout, click Print. The tools and techniques I've demonstrated here should be enough to get you started with Photo Plus. If you need more information, don't forget to refer to the How To tab and the Photo Plus Help.